It's called a hurricane if it occurs in the Atlantic, a typhoon in the Pacific and a cyclone in the Indian Ocean. And each time one of these strikes in the North Indian Ocean Basin, the Indian Meteorological Department is ready with a name. Now, how does that happen? The World Meteorological Organization has divided the world into nine zones. And picking a name for one of these extreme weather events depends on where it occurs. This process began for some regions in the early 1960s. But for cyclones in the North Indian Ocean Basin, it began only by the year 2000 and the IMD was picked for the job. The eight countries from Oman to Thailand were asked to submit a list of eight names each, which was done by 2004. On the list, the countries are arranged in alphabetical order and the names are picked horizontally. Which is why Cyclone Varda that made landfall in Chennai in December 2016 was given a name suggested by Pakistan. The year 2017 began with Cyclone Maruta, the name suggested by Sri Lanka. Then came Cyclone Mora, named by Thailand. And at the end of the year came Cyclone Oki, named by Bangladesh. And even this process by the World Meteorological Organization was not free of controversy. In the 1960s, weather bureaus in different parts of the world picked only the names of women. But the practice changed almost over a decade later after much protest by feminist organizations like the National Organization for Women. <laughs> 